The nation's most terrible motorists have come to a prison that's so harsh, it's been shut down. Here, they're learning to operate a wide variety of vehicles. <laughs> oh my god! Why? Well, because they're trying to gain enough skill to avoid a collision with our painful title. Canada's worst driver. To find the candidates for Canada's Worst Driver, we conducted a nationwide search. Discovery Channel viewers introduced us to hundreds of scary motorists. I whacked the guy. But only eight were deemed bad enough to enter our Driver Rehabilitation Centre in Guelph, Ontario, where they are being educated. Look to your mirror first, mm -hmm. then to your blind spot. <laughs> and challenged. Two drivers have already graduated and gone home. Anybody need a lift home? <laughs> the six drivers who remain in rehab are starting to worry they might ultimately be named Canada's worst driver. I do not want to do this show no more. It was a mistake. Ashley was steered into rehab for all the right reasons by Brian, her husband. You're ruining my life! At the rehab center, this Albertan's driving is improving. I can't believe you used your mirrors. But Ashley's road rage is still potentially lethal. I'll stab you. Saskatchewan truck driver Bob nominated his wife, Amy, as Canada's worst driver. Oh my God. I can understand why driving makes Amy cry. There or back to the ring room? But I don't know why Amy would open up an isolated business that she has to drive to get to. It's a little nerve-wracking, so I gotta get somebody else to drive for me. Gas, gas, lots of gas. At the rehab center, Amy is facing her fears. I'm just, just not really fine. But she still has a long way to go. I can't do it, I can't. Eighteen-year-old Tegan is Canada's worst driver, according to his buddy Matt. Sometimes he does get surprised. He won't see a car coming up. That's when he'll get the wobble going on. Tegan's wobbly steering style oh, is the most uncoordinated we've ever seen. <laughs> At our rehab center, We've learned that Tegan is worse than uncoordinated. He's also out of touch. I just kind of lost control because my foot got stuck in between the pedals, and I just kind of ran into the obstacles, and I stalled the car. So, other than that, it was great. Emily from Calgary was nominated by Scott, her husband. Because I'm a 6th Avenue 9 it's now. A red light. Oh my god. How'd that go? At the rehab center, oh, I cannot see. It's been pretty easy to see. I cannot see. What Emily's real driving problem is. I just cannot see. Emily needs glasses. Stop. Whatever. Lindsay from Kelowna smiles her way through scrapes and bangs. These things happen <laughs> a lot when it's me. This on-the-road salesperson acts as if her crashing habit is cute. It's all good. But her fiancé, TJ, has had enough. When we have kids, they are definitely not driving with Lindsay. At our rehab center, Lindsay's charm isn't impressing anyone. Okay, so how am I looking? You're doing about as well as the weather. Yeah? Terrible. And finally, Donna from Sault Ste. Marie... I love driving. ...was brought to us by Chloe her concerned son. 
The way Donna drives is criminal. Donna drives according to her own set of rules and standards. That's right. That's how I drive, my standards. You shouldn't be driving at all. Donna's standards are so low, she thinks running stop signs is perfectly acceptable. She thinks she's a good driver. I do. I'm not doing anything wrong in my standard. <laughs> mine. I didn't say anybody else's. I said mine. Donna's low standards also allow her to randomly hit people. Yes, I did hit a cyclist. What about the pedestrian? Well, I didn't mean to hit him. It gets worse. There's a little bit of issue with drinking and driving. I went over a ditch nine feet, and no one could believe that I was all right. Donna's standards also allow for drinking and driving to the point of passing out. I fell asleep at the wheel, and I just woke up in time. Or maybe I wouldn't even be here doing this. She's a dangerous <laughs> driver. I am not. Don't use that word dangerous. I hate that word. It doesn't make sense. At our rehabilitation center, we like to believe that every driver can be repaired and put back onto public roads. I'm not a bad driver. But Donna ah! might be too far gone to ever be made safe. No wonder I drink and drive. <laughs> it's clutch time. Clutch in, clutch in. Oh, you had it. Ah! You had it. In this episode of Canada's Worst Driver, the candidates for our unwanted title will perform every motoring challenge at the helm of a stick shift manual transmission vehicle. Tell them about gas and clutch. Okay, I said I'm sorry. Before making any of our bad drivers do a challenge in a standard vehicle, they're each getting a private lesson on clutch control from our high performance driving instructor, Philippe Laterno. Are you familiar with manual transmission? Not whatsoever. No? Never, never. Never? Never. So let's start then. <laughs> In a manual transmission vehicle, you have three pedals. Oh. The one to the right is? The gas. Good. Middle. Brake. Good. And clutch. All oh, right. Oh, no. Pressing the clutch puts the car in neutral. I want to repeat that. Pressing the clutch puts the car in neutral. Therefore, if you hit the gas while the clutch is in, you won't go anywhere because the car's in neutral. Oh. To get going, hit the gas and smoothly release the clutch. Yeah. Oh. That was it's a bit quick. kind of jerky, I'm sorry. Let go the clutch. All right. Oh, okay. Accelerate. When you start to feel a car moving, uh -huh. that's when the clutch is engaging. Drivers can feel the clutch engage oh. during a moment known as the friction point. Oh, so you got to be smooth yeah, to get to feel the, the, the friction point. So always, always smooth when you release. Let go the clutch. Let go, let go, let go, let go. <laughs> oh, my okay. God. <laughs> when you see it, it's, it's going to stall like this. Yes. Just put the Just... clutch in. Again, pushing the clutch puts the car in neutral. And you won't stall in neutral. Clutch in, clutch in. If you feel the engine stall like this, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you need to put the clutch in. What did you do? I let the clutch out too fast. When everyone understands how to get a standard machine going, it's time for our first challenge. The most difficult thing about driving a manual transmission stick shift is starting. And the most difficult start is one on the hill. With that in mind, we created an extremely uphill battle that will force Canada's worst drivers to learn the art of a controlled clutch takeoff. If they do it correctly, well, look at that. They'll achieve balance. Will I achieve balance? Let's see how hard this challenge really is. I go up the ramp, giving it a bit of gas, find the middle, and stop. Except <laughs> I didn't find the middle. Okay, no problem. Put it in reverse, back up, and stop. Except I didn't find the middle. Where did I? Geez, I could be done already. This is not a challenge, this is a cinch. Figuring this out took me 33 seconds. But will Canada's worst drivers be able to figure it out? Ashley is the first bad driver in this two-footed challenge. Are those the shoes you wear when you drive your standard at home? Absolutely. Our panel of experts are not impressed. Completely starting with the wrong shoes to drive a standard. 
You need something where you can actually feel the pedals. That's Dan Baggin, our head driving instructor. Those shoes are not going to help her use that clutch at all. We've talked about that high heels, all those kinds of shoes. It's hard to feel the grip when the clutch engage. It's hard to feel the pressure on the brake, the throttle. So very important to wear proper shoes. Dan and Philippe watch every challenge the bad drivers do alongside psychologist Dr. Luisa Gambora and OPP veteran Sergeant Cam Woolley. This is a realistic challenge because it gives drivers uh, the sense of uh, starting and stopping, going up a hill and down a hill. At home, Ashley owns a stick shift vehicle, and you'll never guess who taught her to drive it. I taught myself how to drive. I went down the busiest street, and I made myself learn how to drive. Geez, that sounds safe. Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't good. The results of those non-lessons aren't good either. Ooh. Ride the clutch a bit there, right? I don't want to go too far. Whoa, what the heck's Whoa. going on? Ashley is probably the best technical driver we have in rehab. But her short fuse often leads to an explosive downfall. I hate this thing. Nobody should drive a Honda. They're garbage. They said, stay in China. Oh, my God. For the record, Hondas are made in Japan and also in Alliston, Ontario. <sighs> this Hondas are garbage. The clutch. It's not it's the car. It's wearing improper it's shoes. Garbage. Hondas are garbage. They're garbage vehicles. It's not the car. It's the it's driver. It's the car. The car sucks. Ashley's balanced, but she's still raging. This? No, these cars are garbage. Uh-uh, no way. You guys got earplugs? <laughs> Emily's up next. Let's go. Standard vehicles are harder to drive than automatics. But standards have more power, they're cheaper to buy, and they're easier on gas. I don't know how to get in there. At least, they're easier on gas if you remember to release the clutch and go somewhere. My leg, not listen to my head. You have to get them talking to each other, all right? Emily has constant miscommunication between her body and brain. Hey, stop. <laughs> That's what her friend is speaking. No, I can't. You cannot do that. Emily knows what to do. Off the brake, on the gas. Oh. But she can't do it smoothly. Yeah. Off the brake, on the gas, off the clutch. Oh my god. It's too much. And clutch in, clutch in, clutch in. But oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we created this challenge. Oh, yeah. So the bad drivers will be forced to practice having light touch on the pedals. Oh, no. And so they can practice being decisive. Clutch in, brake on. Uh, oh, oh. I did I make it? Oh. I believe you're done, Emily. I'm OK. Emily's success seems confusing to her. I think I just did lucky. <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> You did a good job. Okay. Good job. That is good. After the break, stop. The teeter totter keeps on slamming. Oh, ah. Canada's worst drivers are demonstrating the art of clutch control by balancing this stick shift automobile on this teeter totter. What the heck's going on? At least, that's what they're trying to do. Oh. <laughs> Lindsay's up next. I do not want to stall this. Lindsay's not used to facing consequences. Ooh. Oh, they stalled it. Most of her mishaps go unreported by other drivers. Okay, break, break, break. Oh, break. Oh, ah. <laughs> oh my god, that was really bad. <laughs> Again. The secret to performing a hill start is being fast on the pedals. Okay, let the clutch out, let the clutch out. I, I am trying, I'm <laughs> trying. Not. Okay, that's good. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh. Okay, I don't want to do this anymore. What Lindsay probably wants to do is go shopping for some sensible shoes. You stalled again. I did it though. I'm balancing. Lindsay's footwear has made her a fashion victim. 
I was really nervous. That was the most nervous I've been the whole time. I'm still shaking. Donna has a negative passenger. I want a helmet. I want Donna protected. Can I get in and ride in the passenger seat with you? Do you want to? Yep. Oh, God. It's okay with me. I get in, and we get going. A little bit of gas, release the clutch, brake when you get there. Keep crawling, keep crawling. Get, we're almost to half now, Donna. Remember, when the clutch is pressed down, the car is in neutral. That's right. Oh! It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. I did it wrong. Do you know why I didn't go? What? I didn't release the clutch. Let's crawl up here and do this. Up we go. Donna goes up. Whoa. Stop. And over. Whoa. Andrew's going to get whiplash here. You got it. Stop. I'm feeling a pattern develop. Stop. I think i got to go back. Stop. And stop. So far, Donna stalled 14 to... Uh, well, make that 15 times. Why am I now getting more sander? If practice makes Donna worse, should she really be driving? <gasps> oh, Donna, Donna, Donna. I, did I do it? Donna hasn't really done it. Lean forward, lean forward. Did I do it? This completion is more of a mercy ending. That was neat. I knew I could do this challenge. I knew I could. Tegan will be driving a more powerful vehicle because... Tegan is one of the few candidates that drives a stick at home. You can be his first try, no problem. Listen to the rev of the engine and the smoke coming off of it. No one familiar with stick shift driving should torture a machine like this. Oh, oh. This is harder than I expected. You're, you're hammering on that gas. Too much gas creates too much friction at the friction point. Oh. The clutch is actually starting to burn. What happens is the flywheel and the clutch get burnt and polished, and, and they will no longer work together. They'll just spin, and you'll see that there with the smoke. Slow. Replacing the burnt-out clutch in this Sunfire would cost about $1,000 for the parts and the labor. Woo! Pop that e-brake, pop the e-brake. Tegan's performance leaves a bad taste in your mouth. Your revs are getting way too high. You should have shifted long before you got up there. Had a gas to get up and over, you know? Amy won't get the sports car. She gets an Audi. Let's just hope. Oh, well, there's one stall. Let's just hope that she doesn't burn out the clutch completely. Maybe we're not in first. I don't think I'm in first. She's not. Amy's trying to start in third gear. See? So I see a little bit of a pattern developing with Amy. What she does is she turns the key, then she guns the engine, and then she stalls with a clunk. Just like that. This is starting to piss me off. Still in third gear, Amy repeats the steps that haven't been working, and then she stalls. Where is he? I can't make a go. I tell Amy to move the shifter one notch to the left, then try going. See, you're in first. You were trying to start in third. Thank you. No problem. I'm here to teach. What the hell was that? Keep on the gas. Okay. Oh, now I stalled. Now what do I do? She has to go forward. But I'm dead. Off the brake and onto the gas. Quick, drop your clutch. Oh, my God. Driving a stick is all about touch and feel, which Amy doesn't have. Oh my god! Give her gas, give her gas. Oh! Her... <laughs> I got scared! <laughs> I'm scared Amy will kill this clutch. <sighs> smell that? That's the yeah, clutch smell. That's I clutch. know. Now the car won't even start. Oof, that's even deader than a yeah. doornail. But Bob is on the case. Andrew, where do they put a battery in an Audi? I think they put it in in Germany, Bob. 
I'm one of those guys that when cars break, I look under the hood, but I don't have a clue what's going on under there. How is it, Bob? It's toast. Amy is an Audi assassin. I'm nice. I just can't drive. When we come back, it's the stick shift version Ugh. of our annual smooth driving challenge. Smooth. It's something every driver should always be. Now, it is pretty hard to be smooth if you're in a wading pool, but if you're underneath a wading pool, you have to be smooth. Because if you drive like a jerk, you're going to get soaked. The next challenge for Canada's worst drivers is to navigate their way around this winding course in this old stick shift army vehicle. Oh look, it's an Iltis. That was a, a vehicle designed specifically for the Canadian military. There's 200 liters of water in that tank above my head, and the way to keep it in the tank is to drive smoothly. Ah! The smallest little maneuver makes that stuff slosh. Oops, the light is red, so I come to a slow stop. Okay, my light's green. Now it gets interesting. That golden two right there means I have to get up into second. It is possible. I'm in second, and that's enough for me. I want to do this as slowly as possible. Just be. Oh, look, there's a taxi coming out. No problem. There's danger up ahead, though. What some countries call a sleeping policeman is what we call a speed bump. Oh, and I just got sloshed upon by going over it. Then there's a hairpin turn that leads to this riser. Which could very well be the hardest thing on the in oh, the hardest thing on the entire course. Go up smoothly. Ooh, that's too much gas. Over the rise, over the rise. Don't get me wet. There I'm at the crux. Ah! Instead of waiting for everything to settle, I foolishly decide to risk going. The risk, well, the risk is you could get a big slop. Thankfully, I'm almost done. Now it's time to parallel park. Am I embarrassed? Hell yes. But what are you going to do? I'm through. Look, I'm way out, but if I do a dry turn, which is kind of an ironic thing to bring up at this stage, I should get into my final parking spot and get out before the crew mock the living hell out of me. Aha! And I'm done. I'm done with 20 liters lost. Now let's see if Canada's worst drivers can do this in a sensible manner. Oops. Lindsay's up first. I'm so nervous, we're gonna be soaked. Yep. Lindsay starts this stick shift challenge by trying to drive. Never guess. Sorry. With the parking brake on. Oh, is that why? Probably. Okay. Give us some gas, give us some gas. Push in the gas. Lindsay is stalling. And she's bunny hopping. Clutch. And she's trying to start the engine while it's already running. Uh-oh. When she finally gets moving, Lindsay's out of control immediately. She's hitting everything. Oh. Red light, red light, red light! Oh, oh. oh my god! Oh. Oh. Lindsay's most dangerous driving habit uh. is getting scared and letting go of the wheel. When I took her out driving in town, she let go of the wheel on me at least 10 different times as we were driving in traffic. Letting your hands off the wheel is actually an offense in every province in Canada. It's dangerous. After another stall, and a very delayed reaction, Lindsay starts stalling with real flair. Clutch control is the big lesson here. Come on, oh, 
I think this is purposely hard. When she finally gets going, oh, going. Speed Demon Lindsay's like a natural disaster. <gasps> For Lindsay, the penny is just not dropping. Can't stop it. Like that. <laughs> you know that. TJ brought his fiance to drive a rehab in an effort to save her life. Are you watching behind you when you back up? At all? Lindsay really needs to get a grip on what's important. Well, I don't know how she expects to control the car if she keeps taking her hands off the wheel like that. Letting go of the wheel has to have consequences. So I send Lindsay back. Reverse? You guys are cruel. Oh my god! In her own mind, she really believes she's good. <laughs> what shoulder were you looking over? I'm not having this conversation. If Lindsay wants to become a safe driver, okay. she has to realize that hitting things is rude and offensive. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't whoa me. Okay. Lindsay's habit of smiling to get out of crashes has to be extinguished. How was that? Oh, that was terrible. Do you deserve to graduate? Should you graduate? Do you want to graduate? Have you learned everything you need to? Yes, 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 and yes. Really? Yes. I think so. Emily is up next. A standard start for Emily involves over revving the engine, then popping the clutch. In rehab, Emily has learned to make smooth turns. See, not a drop. But her pedal control is still clumsy. Don't break, don't break. Ah! Ah! Oh, my God. Ah! I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Ah! Ah! Oh, my God. I know Emily needs glasses, but surely she can see these big foam blocks. Ooh. Not her best challenge so far, that's for sure. If his wife keeps driving this badly, Scott's going to lose his shirt. So you're a team, okay? You need help me. You have to help me. If you're not, then you get wet. Amy's ready to hop to it. Are you kidding me? I'm gonna get wet. I'm gonna get wet. Hey, <laughs> Doc. When Amy gets nervous, <laughs> and she always gets nervous. Her driving bounces from bad to worse. What in the hell? I'm in second. Crap. One thing common with many bad drivers is a shocking lack of foresight. <laughs> Tropical Storm Amy thunders into the corner. That was a tsunami. Then Amy pounds along the border with a 100% chance of precipitation. Holy me. Amy's Perfect storm of emotions is a disaster that's constantly looming. Oh, you f <laughs> After the break, Donna nearly has the life scared out of her. I gotta get out. Canada's worst drivers are showing us how smoothly they can drive a stick shift. So far, Amy has been the jerkiest, but the worst has been Lindsay, hands down. <gasps> Ashley will start with a fresh tank. Here you go. Oh. <laughs> because Ashley drives a standard at home, nice and easy. 
Her problem isn't handling the clutch. Oh, left, left, left. Her problem is a combination of steering and screaming. <laughs> On the first straightaway, we have to be in second gear here. Ashley accelerates towards the blind corner. Nice and easy, huh? Nice and easy, jerk. <laughs> I look like a drowned rat. And she sounds like a mezzo soprano on a crystal meth binge. <laughs> Ashley's like the poster child of a slasher movie. I didn't do that great. Obviously, maybe I'm a little bit of a jerky standard driver than I thought I was. I got taken down a pig. Tegan also drives a stick shift at home. That doesn't mean he drives it well, though. Nice smooth ride. Tegan's steering is bad. His smoothness is non-existent. <laughs> and he shifts gears at too slow a speed. What on earth was that? That was better than this. Tegan has no idea where he is. He's backing up, smashing into things. On the straightaway, Tegan has a lurchy takeoff and an uglier ending. The point of this lesson is about to soak in. It's actually a really good test for people who have jerky problems. Donna is the final driver. We already know some frightening facts about Donna. Stop, stop. Ah! Donna pathologically runs red lights. Oh. There was a street light we put. Oh, I can stop! <laughs> she never looks when reversing. And her reactions are always late. Oh, ah! I'm more worried about Donna than any driver we've ever had. Don't worry. Don't worry. You stop. Don't worry. Ah! Ah! What concerns me is she gets herself so worked up, she begins to make very dangerous decisions. And it's probably time for her to admit that she needs to let go of her driver's license. Our favorite grandmother didn't get into second gear during the straightaway. Huh? So she has to back up huh? and try again. You're freaking backing up. Oh! Stop, stop. Push, push it. What? You gotta go ahead now. Huh? Huh? Where am I? Huh? Your man's gonna stop! It's okay! Stop! Okay! Stop. What are you doing? Whatever she was doing, Donna's not done doing it. How come I can go drive backwards now? Stop! Stop! Ah! Ah! Where's number two? Oh, oh, Her mental concentration is gone. She's simply stopped thinking. And any driver that has stopped thinking is a dangerous driver. We're about to find out just how unsafe it is for Donna to be driving. Now we're confused. Is she having heart problems or is she having a panic attack? I think it's more than anxiety here. Before coming to rehab, Donna filled out a medical form. But on it, she failed to mention that she has angina, a serious heart condition. No, I need a... Uh. That's a spray of nitroglycerin, the same stuff dynamite is made of. For Donna, it will open up the blood vessels leading to her heart. Well, I can't breathe. I should sit down, Mom. 
It's okay. You okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm just panicking. People who suffer from angina can literally die from stress. My heart, your heart. Oh, really? I'm gonna have a heart attack. This isn't the first angina attack she's suffered behind the wheel. Oh, it's happened before. Well, yeah, because I have a bad heart. After seeing this... My heart, my, my, my heart palpitations. Our experts have seen enough. It's in my job description to make sure that I bring it to the attention of the Ministry of Transportation. Well, as a police officer, I have the responsibility too, and there is a legal process that I intend to follow immediately. Driving is Donna's freedom, but her ride on the public pavement might soon be over. Do a 1027 for me, please, and uh, send me the record. I'm going to have to do a, a license review on this driver. She's got medical issues. Uh, Deal number Hotel 477. I have a driver who needs to be reassessed. We've got some medical problems. I want you to take a look at her. If a foam taxi gave Donna an angina attack, what else might? I came home. out and I just, I lost my breath. Why? I started to get chest pain because that pulled out in front of me. The sad truth is, any stressful situation could kill Donna. It makes me nervous because my kids are with her. You know, it could happen. Yeah. It could happen. <laughs> this next challenge in the all stick shift episode is a little bit scary for me because I'm going to be riding with Canada's worst drivers as they gear up and go 60. Lindsay will be my first chauffeur. Oh, I'm stalling already. No, 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 you're not Come stalling. On, you're not stalling. Come you're on. trying to drive with the parking brake on. Oh, oops. I'll just brake here. <laughs> sure. Amy does the exact same thing. Feel how sluggish that is? Yeah. Take the parking brake off. <sighs> I can't believe I did that. I can't believe I have to be in the car with these people. You're in neutral. In four years of hosting Canada's Worst Driver, I've always been eager to hop into the passenger seat. Get out of the car, I don't want to hurt you. Today, all I feel is stress. Uh, oh my god, oh no. That's neutral. And that's the grinding, and that's through a stop sign. He looks very stressed, huh? He does. Well, he is very stressed. I'm stressed because I'm scheduled to drive with Donna. In Donna's last challenge, she suffered an angina attack. I came home. out and I just, I lost my breath while I started to get chest pain because that pulled out in front of me. The stress on Donna's heart was so bad, she needed doses of nitroglycerin. I need another nitro. When we accepted Donna into the rehab center, we had no idea she has angina. It's a heart disease, yeah, I have unstable angina. I gotta tell you, I'm uncomfortable. Great. But why are you uncomfortable? To be totally honest with you, I'm uncomfortable because of what happened yesterday. Oh, what happened yesterday? Yeah. No, I'm fine. Really? Uh-huh. I haven't had an angina attack since uh, about six months. What can cause one of Donna's angina attacks? Little things can cause it if you're really stressed out bad. Uh... Stress can cause it. Oh, stress can cause it, yeah. The point of these challenges is to put you in stressful situations so when you get in a stressful situation in the real driving world, you're able to deal with it. I don't know on an emotional level if I can deal with getting into this stressful situation with you you're because kidding. it might bring on an angina attack. No, it won't. I'm so, I'm so confident because I didn't before. Donna's denial knows no bounds. I've never, never had an angina attack driving except when I went to the hospital. That's it. Well, that one's enough to scare the hell out of me. Yeah. I'm not getting in the car with you. Oh, I am, Drew. I'm not doing it. And I don't think that you're fully aware of just how colossally bad your driving is. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, cause I don't, I don't think I'm a bad driver. To be quite honest. If a jaywalker runs out in front of you, are exactly. you gonna stop in time? Probably not. Yeah. Should you like, really be driving then? Probably not. I think we should look more deeply at your driving mm -hmm. 
before we make another move. The 30 meter long trenches in this lawn were caused on day three when Donna panicked and hit the gas pedal. How many times since being here have you panicked and hit the gas instead of the brake? Lots of times. Lots of times. Yeah, I don't even count. And so do you think you should be on public roads if you are the type of person who panics and hits the gas? No. No. On a scale of 1 to 10, as a driver, how are you? Right now, I'm, praying, I'm feeling pretty zero. I, I would agree with you. I think you're a zero. You would? Yeah. When we return, Donna sees just how dangerous her driving is. <gasps> In the driver rehabilitation center's old courtroom, Donna joins her son Claude to watch some footage of her own bad driving. I think you're going to see the worst driver you've ever seen, and I think you're going to see a driver who probably shouldn't be on the road. <gasps> No. Oh. Oh. What did I hit? I need a drink. Ah. Holy! Ah. Oh my God! Maybe I shouldn't even have a driver's license. I'm telling you. I'm going to give you back your driver's license right now. Okay. Thank you. What are you going to do with that? I'm going to drive. Mm -hmm. You saw a woman there who should be driving? No. That's I know you. that. I That's know you. that. Incredibly, Claude also thinks his mother should keep driving. You are fine with that, hey, Claude? That's, that's fine? Yeah. With your kids in the back? Yeah. I'm, I'm going to slow down. I am going to slow down. You should slow down to zero. Mm -hmm. You're done driving at the rehab center. Okay. And our official line is you should never drive. Okay. Okay, Andrew. The experts are ready to choose this episode's graduate, but... I'm not driving with Donna under any circumstance. It's that simple. I'm glad to hear that. So, in terms of graduation, I guess the short way to put it is this is like the anti-grad. In one of our challenges yesterday, Donna suffered an angina attack. And when I asked her how these attacks can be brought on, she said stress can bring them on. So to help her avoid stress, Donna, you know we've asked you to stop driving completely. But you say you want to keep driving. You can't do that on our watch. So we're sending you home. OK. So look over here. Because here comes your ride. Tails in the back, the whole bit. Andrew! <laughs> Donna is the worst driver we've ever encountered. I am a perfectly fine driver. When we first met Donna... I think once I started driving like this, I just liked it. We thought this sweet little lady could be easily rehabilitated. Just because I don't stop at stop signs does not make me Canada's worst driver. Then we learn Donna drinks and drives. Only when I go to bingo. Don't lie, Donna. Only when I go to bingo. And now we've learned the stress of driving could kill Donna. Could My heart, you're hurt. Oh, really? I'm going to have a heart attack. Should you really be driving then? Probably not. We agree. Donna should never drive again. I'll write you. Thank you. You are so welcome. Bye-bye, Donna. Bye, Andrew. If you're in Sault Ste. Marie anytime soon and you're driving at night, be very careful because Donna might be on her way home from bingo. I'm definitely going to be driving. What is going to be different, I'm going to go slow. Donna's Ontario driver's license review is still being reviewed, but we did get this email from her. Next time on Canada's Worst Driver... Whoa, 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 whoa. 
we try to get things back on track. Get in the car! With an episode entirely devoted to turning. <gasps> After you see it, you won't want to drive home. Should you have a license? Uh, after that, probably not. Canada, Donna's on the road.